Good morning, Pete. What are you doing here? How are you? Fancy seeing you here. <laughs> Should we cycle to another country? Yeah, have you told them where we're going yet? Uh, no. Have you got your passport? I've got my passport. Have you got your passport? I've got my passport, yeah. Otherwise, it could be a very short trip. you got enough stuff? <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Travelling in luxury. Travelling light. Travelling heavy. I've I got everything that you haven't got, I think. <laughs> <laughs> if I need anything, I'll ask you. Yeah. Let's crack on them. Right, so we're now roughly about 30k in. We're heading our way now through the lanes. We've been on main roads since we're going direct to Plymouth today. 100 miles. I haven't done 100 miles for over a year. And uh, I'm a little bit terrified and excited to be going to France today. Passports on board. We have fully packed bikes and we're heading to Brittany and Normandy. So we're going past the Mont Saint-Michel, all the way up to Cherbourg. So from Roscoff to Cherbourg, basically through the north of France, it should be epic. The weather was a bit iffy today and we've got, got lucky because it's now sunny, but we have another 130K to do to get to Plymouth. And I am so excited. There is also a huge discrepancy about what I've got on my little bike and how little Pete's got on his bike. So one of us has forgotten something or one of us has got too much. So we'll find out over the next week. Excited, Pete. I'm excited, yeah. I am wondering what's in your bags and not in my bags. It's almost like you're carrying half of my stuff, for me. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> but I'm but excited. This is it's glorious. Camera equipment is one, one thing I've got way more than you. I'm a mobile film studio. You are indeed. I have nothing. I have just this. Just your phone. I'm excited. Yes. It's going to be good. We'll be in France. This time tomorrow, we'll be cycling in France. I'm just looking forward to the first coffee stop at the minute. <laughs> I've been Honestly. trying to fake it I have said I can take it But I think you should let me go Cause I need some time I think I just want to feel like home But these days I just feel long gone And I don't know how to make it right I've been trying to fake it I have said I can take it But I think you should let me go Cause I need some time So we made it through Exeter, 93k on the clock. We know we've got the next big climb coming up. We've got about three or four of these. But I think the last 20, 30k is all downhill to Plymouth. That's, that's my goal is to get to there. Um, we had a brief stop in Honiton for some refreshments and I was dying on my ass at that point. Uh, the black downhills had kicked my butt um, and I had serious doubts. I've lost count how many times I've said sorry to Pete today. But um, yeah, the food kicked in. And we've had a good last couple of hour, hour and a half. We've flown along, so 93k in. What's that, 70 to go? So we just got a 70k bike ride. That's easy, isn't it? When you just say it like that. It's been a very interesting route, hasn't it, Pete? Yeah, we made good progress there. We needed that. We were a little bit behind schedule, probably. But the, uh, the scenic bit was the Black Down Hills. Yeah. And a few tiles I had to get from Illminster yeah. just I was before. I told we were going the most direct way. It was actually to get tiles. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we've come directly through extra and that was um, not pretty, but necessary. It wasn't the prettiest. Just got to get to Plymouth now. I don't want to change who you are. The things you say is always one step too far. But I know that I've played my part. I'm hurting you as well. I guess that we should say we're sorry. Say we're sorry. Sorry. Oh, I got over the red bit, thought that wasn't too bad. And then it kicked up again and the map said it was yellow. There's I no way to... Same thing to you, it got worse after the red bit. Yeah. yeah. Well done though, that, that was steep. I had to walk, that was killed awesome. me. It's been a really tough day. 
he's made it to the outskirts of Plymouth. We're in the grounds of Saltram House on the bank of the river. I have been broken for the last 30 kilometres. I'm just keeping going because I don't want to let Pete down. But I think we're going to make it in plenty of time. And this, look at this. I doubted myself several times today, especially on the climbs, and I can't go any faster than 8k an hour. Pete's patiently waited at the top for me. But we are now 158k, we've got 4k to go. So I'm going to do it, no matter what. But I can't wait to get off the bike. We can officially say we've done it. Oh, what an effort. Uh, yeah, can of Coke, I think. Uh, you are, sir. You happy now? I'm released. <laughs> we needed to be here by nine, and it's 8.57. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a day. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, I, I can't wait to get off the bike. On a boat now. Get a shut eye and rest. Eight. You said it was eight, wasn't it? Yeah, eight. I was it's ten. Time difference though. No. Uh, <laughs> Roscoff on the boulangerie first thing tomorrow. Uh, that was a tough day out. I haven't filmed a lot today because that was how tough I was finding the riding like I could barely hold my bike up alone the camera. So I am done in. Hopefully I'll find some energy tomorrow. I've got a can of coke sat there that I'm about to murder. We're on holiday. Yeah. This is fun. <laughs> Which idiot planned that ride? Why, why didn't we stop off halfway and go on Saturday and make it a, a nice cushy little... It was never suggested by either of us. We didn't even think about it. Yeah. We could have got 67k in last night. Stop past Honiton. <laughs> We're all past all that ridiculous climbing the Blackdown Hills. Yeah, but it wouldn't have been as fun. Have you had fun, have you? <laughs> well, there's one of us then. So, au revoir. Uh, we will see you tomorrow in France. I my brain is fried. <laughs> if I fall asleep before I press stop on the camera. Au revoir. So, where exactly are we going in France? After sailing into Roscoff, we have around 100 kilometres each day. We will mainly be following the Eurovelo 4 cycle route. First stopping in Langelay, near Lannion, then moving on through Brittany to saint brieuc before making our way to Dol de Bretagne via the ferry from Dinard to Saint-Malo. Then we have the highlight of the Mont Saint-Michel as we make our way into Normandy, to Coutainville, where we will head back up to the Cherbourg to catch the ferry to Poole, and then back home. And here's a taster of what we got to look forward to in France. Mm -hmm.